Howdy folks, in this video I'll show how to uh, hot wire cut a mini arrow wing and give more details about the materials used in the process. The foam board I use is Nauf XPS insulation board and I found it at Bunnings in Australia. It's a bit hard to find sometimes uh, and the staff often don't even know where it is. Our stuff's yellow, but you may be able to find blue or pink foam in other countries. Because I'm cutting out a few of these wings, I've made up a template out of um, MDF board. Now the cutting bow uses uh, stainless steel fishing wire. This is the latest stuff I'm using, single strand 86 pound test, and that's working really well. I have also used seven strand nylon coated uh, fishing wire and you need to remove the nylon coating but it's pretty much the same stuff. So I'm just using the long cutter to basically cut out the blank. I'm just sort of freehand cutting the vertical slices here uh, and one day I'll make up a proper jig to make it a bit more accurate. I do have the aluminium brackets, you can see it wrapped over the edge of the foam underneath there, that helps with the vertical cut. You probably don't want to breathe in the fumes generated by this hot wire cutting, but I'm in a, a big open shed with very, very good ventilation. Now I'm pinning on the airfoil templates, which are made from 0.3mm weather flash window flashing aluminium, also from Bunnings. And you can see here I'm just sort of sharpening up the pins to make sure they poke into the foam uh, as well as they can. They can, if they're a bit blunt, they can sort of push the foam out of the way. Now I'm ready to cut the airfoil. And this is a highly tapered wing, which is a, a very tricky cut. And the reason is you, you want to finish the leading edge or the end of the cut both ends at the same time otherwise you'll get a sort of a big scallop out of the leading edge so you need to go a lot faster on the long end of the cut and uh, slower on the on the shorter end I find it a lot harder to control the smoothness of the cut on the short end so I often end up with lots of ripples um, which are not too much of a problem just require a bit of sanding and um, they all disappear. This wing has a fairly flat bottom so I only actually cut the top uh, part of the airfoil and then just sand the leading edge to a nice shape afterwards. Now to make the cutout for the uh, motor and propeller area I have this vertically mounted bow and it's fed by my Dazhing 30 amp power supply which is what I use to power all my bows now one of the best things I've ever bought I think it was about $65 on eBay and it has a constant current setting so I can set it at um, 4.2 amps which is uh, what I need to make this wire the right temperature doesn't matter how long the wire is uh, it'll always be the right temperature if I use 4.2 amps I can also use it for um, powering my battery charger as well So there we go, there's three new mini arrow wings ready to uh, get built up by my buddies so we can have some more combat.